Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're talking about Mr. Beast, him suing and him being sued. So let's talk about it. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can read it for yourself. You can go here to Forbes. I've read it. Obviously, I read the whole thing, but I'm just going to read the, some of the highlights that I wanted to talk about. So let's start with this. Excuse me. The suit alleges Donaldson didn't meet pro uh, promotional obligations and goes further to say he made disparaging comments about Mr. Beast, Burgers, and VDs. Can I get some music? Can I just a little bit back in the background? Turn it down. You ain't got to make it loud. Come on, DJ. Come on, baby. There we go. Virtual dining. I'm uh, uh, sorry. The suit alleges Donaldson did not didn't meet promotional obligations and goes further to say he made disparaging comments about Mr. Beast Burgers and VDC that caused irreparable harm or irreparable harm. I think it's irreparable. Pointing to a number of now deleted tweets in which Donaldson said he wanted to end the partnership, sign the bad deal, and according to a copy of the suit obtained by Forbes. VDC argues in the suit that the rest about Mr. Beast and company suffered a damage or destroyed reputation from Donald's comments, including losing vendors, suppliers, and customers that caused damage and the nine figures. So you can read the rest of this, but I want to get to this main part here at the bottom. <coughs> Donaldson's lawsuit, through, though Donaldson and VDC differ in which of them pushed for the rapid expansion of Mr. Beast Burger, Donaldson argues that as the endeavor grew, quality suffered, saying in his in his suit there are thousands of negative reviews online. In VDC's suit, however, they highlight that on Uber Eats and DoorDash in 2022, 70 percent of customers of customer reviews included five stars rating. The dispute escalated in June when Donaldson implied on Twitter he was closing Mr. Beast Burger by tweeting when working with 2,000 restaurants I don't own. It's impossible to guarantee the order quality and that he was moving on. Cut the music, please. Put the camera on me. Mr. Beast, you think you're above the law? I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> I, what I really think happened here is with Jimmy. I think that I don't know if he goes by Jimmy or Jim, but I'll call him Jimmy for now. I think Jimmy, what he was going with all of this, and I'll call him Mr. Donaldson, actually. Mr. Donaldson, what I think what he was going with all of this is I think that he really did want the quality to be up. I think he really wanted to go for this. Uh, and when you're working with another partner and you're doing those kind of things, things do go awry. I do have a slight issue, and if you own a business, maybe you'll disagree with me. But the fact that they started in 2020 and it's only been three years and it's already getting scrapped. I just don't know a whole lot of restaurants that go from. I know it's one of the fastest growing chains getting up to 17,000 restaurants or virtual locations. That is, I don't understand why you would give up that quickly because the quality is low. Is that not something you can continue to work on? I guess Jimmy is saying that there's no way we could get it up to par, but even them saying that they were making a lot of money off this, don't you think eventually they would be like, well, we got to get the quality up or we're going to fail? So even if the quality was bad, right, and what Jimmy was saying was absolutely correct, most companies say, you know what, we're going to have to up it up. You know, we're going to have to do something unless these people are, I mean, there's, I don't see a reason for them to sue if they felt that, um, their, their restaurant wasn't going to succeed at this point. They already thought it was a complete failure, so they were just going to let the quality drop to the bottom. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just want to get money out of Jimmy and get this $100 million from him. But I do think Jimmy making the comments he made, and this is true, we know how much influencers have an impact on money. We know how much Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Pokemanes of the world, Pootie... PewDiePie's, PewDiePie's of the world, Marks, the game theories, all those kind of guys who are really top dogs. If they do brand deals, if they do anything, if they say they like this, it's going to have a huge impact on how much money you're going to make. If a, if one of these YouTubers or influencers come out and say, hey, you know what? I kind of hate Dill Pickles, right? And I think Dill Pickles is the name of the brand. So if they came out and said, I hate Dill Pickles, you don't think that's going to take a hard, a hard hit, especially if they kept coming out and making tweets about it like, I don't know. Dill Pickles has always made me sick to make all my friends sick. I'm saying, guys, just look into it. You don't think Dill Pickles is going to come out and say, hey, 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 wait a minute now. You can't come out saying that stuff about us. You're going to mess up the money. And I think that's the same thing that these people, uh, BDC was saying. It's like, hey, Jimmy, you can't just go saying that stuff and then expect us to make improvements. If you're if you come out and say that our quality is trash, how are we supposed to even come back from that? That is irreparable damage. You saying it's not good with your name on it. 
How are we now? How are we supposed to up the quality? We're gonna lose customers, vendors, any brand deals, any sponsorships. That's all gone because you said it's trash. We can't go anywhere from that. If you could have just been more uplifting, that could help us. So I think Jimmy is gonna lose some money in this. I am not sure. I'm not sure. And to be honest with you guys, Jimmy, I don't know Jimmy from a can of paint. Everybody knows who he is. Like, I know his name, but I've never watched a video of his. Like, been like, man, I'm just astounded. I love his work ethic, and I think he, he does a great job, and I've heard him in interviews and stuff like that. But as far as, like, him as the person and the personality and all that kind of stuff, I'm sure me and you don't know that much about him. So I'm just looking into this story, not because it's really Mr. Beach, but because I'm just interested in the story itself. I love seeing what happens with businesses when an influencer comes out and says something bad about them. It's the same thing that happened with the Ace family. The Ace family very much did the same thing with, uh, what was her name? Catherine, who started saying, who didn't do the promotional stuff she was supposed to do for her own makeup brand that she was partnering with. Her not doing that hurt the company. So it's the same thing that's happening with Jimmy. So I'm, tr I'm, I'm curious to see what this is going to do for the influencer partnership dynamic that we continue to see uh, continue to happen. Um, I just wonder if Sweetie had came out and said something about him at McDonald's. I don't know if that would have had a huge impact on um, really because it's Sweetie. But I'm just saying if Megan Thee Stallion came out and said McDonald's is butt cheeks. If somebody like that came out and said it, what impact and what would be the ramifications of that kind of stuff. So I'm curious to see how this plays out. But let me know what y'all think about Jimmy. And what do you think about VDC? Who do you think is in the right? Who do you think is in the wrong? Or do you think it's just a clash? You're in the middle. Um, you think they're going to get some money. Jimmy's going to have to pay something. Um, but somebody's got to win the lawsuit. So at least let me know who you think is going to win. Or do you think there'll just be a settlement? I don't see that happening. Not with Jimmy. I don't see Jimmy doing no settling. So I do think this is going to go to court. And I would just love to see and love to hear what y'all think of what's going to happen. Y'all have the conversation down below. Peace.